Hello, I'm Frank Jernigan, also known as Franco. I'm the developer of the website franco.com, where you can generate a custom fit pattern for a sweater. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. I'm going to talk about a shawl called the Archangel Wing Shawl, the Archangel Wing Shawl, which I am publishing the design for in the spring issue of Cast On Magazine. The shawl is uh, unusual in several fashions. It's, uh, it's knitted in garter stitch. The color work is done by short row knitting with German, using German short rows. Um, the reason it uses that type is that the, the pattern would have to be written differently if it was using wrap and turn or some other form. So if you prefer a different form, you'll have to modify all of the places that by one stitch where short rows are done, and I think that'd be rather laborious. So best to just learn how to do the German short row. I will be doing a video showing how to do German short rows. I will also do videos on all of the various aspects of knitting the shawl. The shawl is considered an advanced or a complex design, and that is because of two reasons. I have invented a new way of writing short row instructions. Um, I'll explain why that is in another video. But uh, if you are, are not comfortable learning a new way to interpret instructions for knitting, then that can add complexity. But there's another reason, and it's that it's uh, complex, and that is because there are uh, unusual, uh, um, an unusual need for uh, lots of increases followed by decreases and I would like to try to show you the reason for that. When you're knitting a short row pattern, by the way, this is uh, the first eight panels of a shawl that I am creating for the magazine. It's done in three different colorways. One of them is a gradient. The red goes to orange and then to yellow. Um, the, the architecture is done as a series of triangular shapes, triangular modules. Each feather of the wing is a triangle. It starts narrow, and as it grows down, it gets wider. And that is repeated over and over. But each time it's repeated, it is offset by 10 stitches. So the second pattern, the second feather starts 10 stitches away, the third starts 10 stitches from there. So it's the staggering of these narrow triangles that makes the wing shape to the shawl. Now, the reason the, we need increases and decreases, even though we're working flat with garter stitch, is this. If you take a look at this triangular section right here, that's a triangle that is knitted using short rows that go back and forth and they get shorter and shorter until they reach the tip. And the triangle itself is then um, knitted along the diagonal from here to here. It's knitted there once in the light blue that you can't see. It's also knitted in the red and it's also knitted in the blue. And if you think about it, diagonals are longer than straight across. So in order to have the, the diagonal long enough, you have to insert increases into those stitches as you knit it. So uh, if you did not have increases on those diagonals, you would cause puckering of all of the different colored segments in the shawl. So that's why there are lots of increases and lots of decreases in the pattern. And those are what make this a more difficult pattern to work. However, 
I'm going to show you how to interpret the instructions and how to work all of the increases and the decreases. And once you've done two or three of the modules, you'll have no trouble with the rest of them. At first, it may be a little difficult to get into it and to understand it, but you'll get it. So uh, I will, I'll do, I'll follow this video with a series of videos that show all of the aspects of the pattern, the design, the uh, how to interpret the pattern, and how to work the sweater. I mean, how to work the shawl. I've done so many sweaters, I guess I just can't remember what I'm doing today. So anyway, uh, I'll see you in future videos.